back on the trail today uh it's nice the leaves haven't started changing i mean just barely they've just barely started changing today i think we will talk well let me tell you a story first and then i'll tell you what we're going to talk about when i was a teenager i was at church uh with my mom and dad and you know we lived in a per, you know pretty rural area and preacher was you know pretty country kind of guy <laughs> and so he was talking about uh you know in his sermon you know he said there's uh he goes we're gonna talk about three r's and it was about you know like the devil the three r's with the devil you know <clears throat> and i remember one of them was uh resist and one of them was you know like you got to respect you know the devil because he's got all this power and stuff like this and that was two r's he got down to the third one and he goes now the third r is wrestle <laughs> wrestle now i knew wrestle didn't start with an r it starts with a W. Uh, so uh, he said that. And I remember I started looking around like, does anybody else in this church realize wrestle starts with a, with a W? So I just started looking. So today we're going to talk about wrestling. Wrestling with an R. When I was a kid, you know, but first of all, you didn't have that many channels. There wasn't that much actual entertainment to watch. So your choices were limited. But every Saturday, we had wrestling. Uh, my dad took me a few times uh, to go see it live and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, we went to see Andre the Giant one time. And uh, when we went, it was at the Memorial Auditorium in Chattanooga. And he was wrestling some local guy and uh the local guy came out and andre was in the ring <laughs> he wouldn't get in the ring with him he just left he just ran off because he was you know we were so mad because he didn't even wrestle um there are people that think it's real and then there are people that act like it's real but they know it's not and it's hard to tell the difference between those people <laughs> they're hard to, they're hard to uh to sort out but now my grandfather on my mama's side he thought it was real he, he, he and you know what back when he was a kid maybe he went to some wrestling matches and it was real so who's to say it wouldn't didn't used to be real i don't know I mean, i'm not a wrestling expert but the characters in it are just were so fun i mean where else are you gonna see people like that but the nfl i mean you some people did some stuff like that but not really they didn't even do dances when they scored in the end zone they didn't even do high fives yet the high five wasn't even around yet the wrestlers man when they would come out you know and it's all that limousine riding jet flying woo you know all that crazy stuff that those guys would do and you would just hate them, you know. Uh-oh, got a dog. But anyway, to have those guys come out and do just the outrageous things that they did, it was just crazy. I mean, you had, you know, Japanese guys that would, you know, do the World War II kind of, you know, you had the, sh you know, guys like the Sheik that would come out and you had the Indian guy. I mean, you had every kind of stereotype in the world going on there you know you had the military patriotic people you had i mean it, it was just you know drama <laughs> just made and then they get out there beat each other up and fight i mean how more elementary could you get <laughs> could you get you know to just appeal to men and kids and boys and you know and women liked them you know there's plenty of women went to wrestling so you watch it for a few years you pretty much know what's going to happen the rest of your life it's going to be the, it's going to be the same thing over and over again just different characters uh although it is fun now i'll tell you who 
does not like wrestling. Wrestling with an R. Our wrestlers with a W. Like people that really wrestle, you know, that are amateur wrestlers, high school, college wrestlers, things like that. They hate it. Um, and we had this guy. I worked one time at this school, and it was a small school. And he was very serious about his wrestling. He was a very, just a very serious guy in general. But anyway, we uh, had a wrestling tournament that was coming up. And anytime you had a big event like that, you know, all the coaches would pitch in. And my job was to make signs for, uh, you know, where people were supposed to go. I just thought it would be really funny, just really funny, to make a, a unique sign for the wrestlers. So uh, I made one sign that said, uh, mask wrestlers because you know a lot of wrestlers wear a mask and then i made another sign that said non-mask wrestlers and i put it over the door the two doors <laughs> and uh didn't take too long before the other coach saw it and he was not amused he didn't even smile. He just walked over there, tore the signs off the wall, and didn't ask me to do anything else. I guess he didn't appreciate my... A lot of people don't get my sense of humor. It's funny. People that don't even watch it know what to do and know how it goes. <laughs> like we would, anytime if I was in high school or college or whatever, and we were traveling uh, for games or whatever. If we were in a hotel room, there was a wrestling match going. I mean, we were coming off the top ring ropes, uh, elbow smash, putting each other in sleeper holes. Uh, it was just an all out war. Every time, you know, every guy in America knows how to do an elbow smash, knows how to do a sleeper hole. Even if they've never even watched wrestling, they know how to, you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's the commercials or what, but every guy, every guy just knows how to do that. And it's just the craziest thing. We would just like go in there and kill each other. Um, another example, I was, uh, when I was, before I retired, we had a um, end of the year, like big celebration kind of thing. And they were going to pour like slime on us or something like that. So you know, we had an introduction and then you came in and then you would sit down and they'd pour slime on. But when they told me there was going to be an introduction, I told them, I said, well, listen, I need a certain kind of music playing and uh, I'm going to need this, this, and this. And they're like, what are you going to do? I was like, you'll see. <laughs> so I went in there, I ran to Walmart, I got me a blonde wig, I got uh, white shorts, couple of white t-shirts a cape thing you know like a big towel I could wear as a cape um, <laughs> and when they started playing my music and I had them play the most redneck music I could possibly think of I think it was like Georgia satellites or something you know something just and uh, <laughs> they started playing that music and all the kids in there were like what in the world is this and I came out of those doors and I had two shirts, and I took the first shirt and I ripped it like Hulk Hogan, and everybody was just going, "Yeah!" <laughs> and then, and then I did my little walk like uh, Ric Flair. I did the kiss the biceps thing. I mean, I did every kind of cliche wrestling thing. I ran up in the stands and put my hand, <laughs> and every time I do something, they'd respond like they knew what to do. They knew when I ran up in the stands and I held my wrestling belt up in the air, they were like, yeah. <laughs> so, so I got slimed after that. But it sure was fun before I got slimed being a wrestler for a few minutes. Wrestling's fun. Don't look down on people that like wrestling. Be nice. Let them have a good time. Let them enjoy their entertainment. And then you enjoy your entertainment. Whatever it is, but whatever kind of entertainment you enjoy, 
entertain yourself by watching Nichols Retirement Empire <laughs> and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, but anyway, you guys have a good day. Next time you get a chance to go watch some wrestling or do some wrestling, go for it. And if you can retire, go ahead. I encourage you to do that. See you guys later.